Oh boy, fashion. It gets mad, weird, especially beyond the scope of the stuff considered cool. There are definitely folks that adopt a certain style and really get others into it too. While not all trends are necessarily things we'd see ourselves rocking, there are certain ones you can't deny are a thing. You know what we mean. Like when kids started wearing foxtails with their jeans or buying necklaces with their names on beads of rice. Turns out the US isn't the only spot where strange styles like that go viral. We here at Come Along searched the globe and found these, what quite possibly are the five weirdest trends from around the world. Let's start the ride. Mustang Skinline Jeans Where it came from? Scandinavia. But why? Some dudes get off on it. Others just really, really like the fit. Around 2008, really creepy videos started to emerge on YouTube of men taking videos of themselves in jeans brand called Mustang Skinline. Sure, skinny jeans were on the rise then, but these things were pretty much leggings. Even worse, they were high-waisted leggings. And on the pause-worthy tip, many of the comments on these videos of dudes showering and walking in the fields with their super tight jeans are definitely thirsty. Mustang Skinline was a jeans line from the 80s that are no longer produced, but there are still people really dedicated to the brand. Take this old guy, for example, who has like 50 pairs. If you're so inclined to purchase vintage pairs or similar fitting jeans, there are sites like Gijo Jeans to cop them, if you dare. Pollution masks. Where it came from? Beijing, China. But why? Fresh air is a luxury in China. It's no secret that Beijing is polluted as hell. With smog everywhere, much of the city's population is taken to wearing masks to avoid breathing in harmful contaminants. But that doesn't mean they've had to sacrifice their style. Sure, there are run-of-the-mill stark white ones, but there are plenty of other options, implementing designs like animals, patterns, and even designer knockoffs like Louis Vuitton. Extraocular implants. Where it came from. Rotterdam, the Netherlands. But why? Because people want to go platinum in a different way. First developed at the Netherlands Institute for Innovative Ocular Surgery, NIOS, in 2002 as a new form of body modification, extraocular implants, rather eye jewelry, involve a piece of platinum alloy molded into a variety of shapes like hearts, euro signs, or stars inserted underneath the cornea by a licensed ophthalmologist. The process runs just shy of $1,000, and currently, you'll have to fly to the Netherlands to get it done safely, as it's the only place it's completely legal. Face kinese, where it came from. Qingdao, Shangdao Province, China. But why? Because it keeps you from looking like a farmer. Should you have a beach day in China's coastal city of Qingdao, except to see plenty of people looking like they're about to rob a bank, the face kinney offers protection from the sun rays and completely covers the face except for the nose, mouth, and eyes. Usually paired with bodysuits or wetsuits, their purpose is to preserve the skin's fairness and prevent tanning. In China, having a tan is completely a sign of being a peasant who works in the fields all day. Mad dated? Sure. But hey, some things are institutionalized like that. Bonus, bikini jeans. The provocative hybrid of bikini and ultra low rise jeans is actually produced in Brazil, but finds its market mostly in Japan. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below, and we'll pin our favorite to the top. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed this video. We have a ton of more interesting videos on Come Along, so make sure to hit the red subscribe button and come along and join us for the ride. Also, hit the notifications button if you haven't already to get notified almost every single day with our newer videos. Thank you so much for watching.